Hello, my name is Randy with Minic Manufacturing. Today we are going to talk about some software upgrades we made on the Autovite monitoring system. And uh, it's, it's really great. It's going to help with the troubleshooting of the system when a sensor goes bad. And uh, we will walk around here and look at the screen and go through the steps of uh, how this new software works. Okay, to find out what version of software you have on your monitoring system, if we click Setup, Display screen info, system, then info, it'll bring up the version of software you have on your current system. The latest version is L, and we can update any version of software out there up to L to work with the new sensors. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate here on the new L version software on the monitoring system of the easeability of troubleshooting when a sensor goes bad. So when you get a new software version uh, monitoring system, it's going to come to you with all the vibrators turned off. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to click on how many ever vibrators you have on the system and you'll physically have to go in and turn them on. And then when you do that without a sensor plugged in, you will get an alarm, but it tells you that it's sensor one. Very simple, very straightforward. So if I plug in a good sensor into one and clear the alarm, it'll go green. So if that sensor goes bad while you're paving, it'll, be, it'll look just like that. It'll go back red and you'll get the alarm. So that tells you whatever number comes up, that is the sensor vibrator position that is bad. So if I plug it back in, it goes back green, pretty simple. So again, if you wanna turn on, say you have eight vibrators, so I wanna turn on one through eight. So I'll need to uh, go there, that's number nine, and turn it on. But it'll give me an alarm because there is no sensor plugged in there. As soon as I plug in a sensor, that'll go away. You acknowledge the alarm, it'll go green. So pretty straightforward. We can update this version of software to any monitoring system that is out on the job site now and to accept the new sensors we have. So what we did to simplify with the troubleshooting of this when the sensor goes bad, we put a diode in down here toward the Deutsch connector. You can't see it, it's all nice and covered up. And we also labeled these with red heat shrink tubing to de decipher for us and for out in the field that they have the resistor in it for the, the troubleshooting of the sensors. The other ones were black heat shrink tubing. Um, and so this will definitely distinguish that. Now, if you do have a system, a current system out in the field that's using the black heat shrink sensors, we can use them on either version of software, old or current. That is the uh, final updates we have on the new software version L. If you have any questions, you can call anyone at Minic Manufacturing and we can walk you through it and help you out.